Hello friends, I am Dr. Sharan Joshi. I am Director and Head of the Department of Pulmonology at Max Vashali Hospital, Tanjit. And today we are talking about problem of addiction of smoking. So may it be BD or cigarette or hookah or e-cigarette or vaping or not only smoking, maybe just tobacco chewing. But what is the reason of addiction is the content, chemical content is nicotine. So tobacco has an active ingredient of nicotine, which actually gets absorbed right from your tongue, right? The moment you inhale or uh, put it in your mouth, it gets absorbed in your blood and it goes to your brain to stimulate the dopamine receptors. The important thing is that the nicotine, when it stimulates centers in your brain, it actually gives you a feeling of excitement, feeling of attentiveness, feeling of uh, fullness and your appetite is lost, then it gives you a feeling of well-being. That you don't have any problem, your body is free of any pain or ailments. So this addiction, this particular feeling, you get addicted to this because of nicotine. So this is a single substance, you are getting addicted. But to get that particular kick from nicotine, any person who is smoking a cigarette is actually inhaling 7,000 chemicals. And out of those 7,000 chemicals, only 4,000 something are actually known to scientists. And out of 4,000, 70 odd chemicals are known carcinogens. So when I say carcinogens, means the chemical which has potential to induce cancer in the body. Chemicals which has potential to make your cells abnormal and create cancer in your body. So these are carcinogens. So you are addicted to one chemical and you are ingesting and inhaling 70 cancer causing substances or chemicals in your body for this one addiction. The problem is that once this comes into your habit, you are addicted to nicotine to the extent that people are ready to die, but not likely or not willing to quit that nicotine. So it is actually enslaving your brain. The feeling of well-being and feeling of uh, fightfulness is because of nicotine stimulant and you get addicted to it that you are not able to quit. Now the problem is that gradually hookah smoking has become a trend. It is, it is catching up in the newer generation. But mind it, whenever people will discuss that okay the fume is coming and through the water and it is purified, it is not purified. If you are smoking hookah for one hour, it is equivalent to smoking 100 cigarettes a day. So even if you are smoking hookah or you are visiting a hookah bar only on weekends for one hour, you are smoking 100 cigarettes in, in that particular uh, week. So second misconception which newer generation has that e-cigarette or vaping doesn't have any side effect like smoking a cigarette, but that's not true. There is only one difference that cigarette in a cigarette you are combusting the nicotine so there is a lot of fume on the contrary in e-cigarette you are actually vaping it so there is no uh, smoke but obviously tobacco content is there nicotine content is there and there is tar as well so e-cigarettes are uh, potentially health hazards and they should also be discouraged fortunately Indian government doesn't allow any e-cigarette so importing or using e-cigarette is illegal in our country and that is a wise decision by government of India to save our uh, newer generations, younger generations from this bad. There is a misconception that by smoking you will develop cough or your lungs will be weak. Let me tell you that tobacco, nicotine has side effects from your head to toe all the organs. You develop early cataract because of smoking. A person develops brain disorders because of nicotine or smoking. Smoking actually uh, predisposes you to Alzheimer's, early forgetfulness. It's not only lungs. Asthma, COPD, lung cancer, these are the diseases by smoking. That's not actual fact. Smoking can cause uh, submucosal fibrosis in your mouth and there can be mouth ulcers because of tobacco chewing or because of smoking. Because of smoking, you can develop stomach ulcers. You may develop SMF or submucosal fibrosis. Opening of your mouth will become restricted. Then stomach cancer is another disease which happens because of uh, uh, tobacco use or smoking. Then food, cancer of food pipe. 
burns or uh, ulcers in the food pipe that also uh, is there because of smoking and tobacco even fertility is affected in male and female as well both so infertility is increasing because of the stressful living of metro and definitely because of smoking and nicotine and probably use of tobacco so smoke particles and smoke chemicals are not only affecting the person who is inhaling it it is also affecting the life and health of people in the surrounding environment or in the same home so passive smoking is also dangerous the side effect of smoking actually goes up to the embryo in the stomach uh, in the uterus of a mother so tobacco doesn't have side effects only on uh, lungs it affects the all organs of the body uh, very few people might be knowing it and or telling it that because of no, uh, nicotine use or because of tobacco the vessels of the body go into spasm and that can be one of the leading cause of brain stroke or the cardiac disease like uh, myocardial infarction the same spasm in the leg vessels can actually affect your athletic capacities it will decrease your walking distance there will be claudication or spasm in the muscle because of compromised blood supply secondary to nicotine and tobacco so from head to toe all the organs can be affected because of tobacco and smoking the people who are already affected with lung disease like copd patients asthma patients patient who are respiratory failure patient and already using oxygen at home ind patient bronchiectasis patient patients who are getting uh, maybe even you know compromised diabetic patient kidney failure patients who are on dialysis they all actually have to stop smoking a smoking affects every part of the body and if you have already a pre existing disease you are actually consuming not nicotine you are actually consuming poison which is damaging your organs further uh, making you crippling or uh, making you crippled and uh, you will be actually bed bound because of the uh, habit of the tobacco smoke or tobacco consumption now the next portion of our talk is that how to break this addiction that's the most important and the first foremost ingredient to break down the sequence of addiction is desire to quit that's the most important part so any person who is not ready to quit by any means you cannot make him quit first thing is educate them what are the side effects the bad part is that people do not know what is the passive cost of it because for 10 to 15 years patient or the person continues to spend money acquiring those addictions he is spending money on cigarette or hookah or bd or whatever and then after 50 20 years then his body is used to it his body is getting diseases because of it his lungs are failing his kidneys are failing or uh, the heart attack is there obviously the money is spent on management of these things so it's a double trouble you are inviting you have to recognize or make uh, help somebody recognize this problem that it's a double edged sword you acquire it and you you are killing yourself and you are killing yourself financially and socially as well so first thing is educate them about the hazards and side effect of it and once they have this desire to quit make announce a date that this is the quit date and you have to completely stop it after this date if a patient finds difficult to quit that definitely medical uh, drugs and medical facilities are available to help you quit there are nicotine replacement therapies available there are other drugs which will uh, remove your desire or urge to use tobacco or smoke so all these are medicinal uh, substances and they has to be consumed after the proper guidance and proper prescription these are prescription drugs if you think you will buy it from a chemist and you will quit yourself it's your attempt to quit is going to be a futile attempt you take a expert's opinion your dose of the quit medicine or that medicine which is prescribed for uh, this uh, de addiction is according to your addiction doses how much cigarettes you are consuming how much tobacco you are chewing how much packets of tobacco you are using in a day accordingly the doses of the medicines are decided they are prescribed in the same manner and over three months period gradually you can stop this but definitely uh, psychological counseling help from Uh, family and friends repeated counseling uh, is required for de addiction and we have expert available at our tobacco cessation clinic who can help you quit this particular dangerous disease 
consuming tobacco or addict, getting addicted to smoking is just like getting addicted to poison it is worse than that so my humble request to everybody is stop using tobacco consuming or using smoking these are dangerous things they are slowly killing you. 